Hi, I'm Brendan Elias. Welcome back to the Chun Import Formula. Today I've got an interesting tip for you on how to save thousands of dollars at the Chinese Canton Fair, or any other fairs for that matter. Now, the thing you should do is when you go and visit a factory for the first time, or their post at some expo, you need to look your best. Your first impressions are really important. Every man should own at least one good suit. If you don't know, just go to Hugo Boss and get the ladies there to look after you. Get something nice, look fantastic. You don't necessarily need to go all out and wear bow tie and cufflinks, but just look the part. A good pair of shoes, black leather, doesn't go astray either. Another thing you need to do is make sure that you are perceived by the person as an expert in your product. The easiest way to do that is to actually be an expert. What you need to do is find out everything about this product, all the variables, all the different specifications, how much it weighs, all the different ways of packaging and labeling it, and when you meet the factory, have these questions ready so that they know you know what you're doing and they know you know what you're talking about. If they think that you're in the market and that you're experienced, then that's, gonna, that's how they're gonna treat you. If they think you don't know what you're doing, then guess what? You're gonna end up with a low quality product at a low price. So make sure that you make a good first impression and you're perceived as an expert. One way that I did this and saved thousands of dollars by only spending about 10 or 20 or 30 is for every product I made or every product I, I sold, I had a car designed specifically for that. So I was selling alcohol breath testers, I was selling electronic pedometers, I was selling motorcycles, and I was selling consumer electronics. For each of these, I made a separate business card. I had one business card which had my name as the director, and make sure your upper level management in any card, not the senior vice president when you can be the president. Uh, make sure that you're, you're at the top now, you're a, um, you, you, you have a, a card for health if you're selling pedometers, a card with a motorcycle on it design if you're selling motorcycles. If you're doing hardware, have a hardware logo or something on it. And in every email you send, every letterhead, every piece of communication, make sure it looks like you're a specialist and an expert because then the factory will A, be more excited because you're in the same field as them and everyone loves their own product, but secondly, they won't mess with you and give you a bad price because they think you're an expert. It's important to be a master of all trades in this business. That whatever you buy, that whatever you sell, you look like you know what you're doing and you're an expert. If you follow this one tip, you might spend 10, 20 or $30 on some stationery, but at the end of the day, you'll save yourself thousands. I'm Ren Elias, thank you for coming to the China Import Formula.